Hey everyone, I'm coming to you from Brisbane, Queensland, and that is another city in Australia. And so behind me, you've got the Story Bridge, which is just over there behind me. You can see that. And it's quite a popular lookout right where you're seeing behind me. But I'm coming to you from this specific location for a reason, because I've done a bit of research on Brisbane. And what's interesting is that they have Queensland itself. They have around 7 million tourists coming into the city and so I'm just going to go somewhere else so that you can see me better. The sun's coming out bright. But they've got 7 million tourists coming out. And here's what's interesting. And that is that the government itself, the government here in Queensland, they're doing fine with the, the amount of tourists that's coming. They've got a lot of international guests that are coming, a lot of domestic tourists. And here's why it's important in business. That they're applying a fundamental rule of business to how they want to grow the tourism of the actual city here in Brisbane. Number one, in any business that you get into, in any kind of product or service that you want to help with your work, you need to find out, number one, well, what do people want? What's the problem? What is it that they want? The second thing is to give a solution to that problem. So, well, if it's within your expertise and if it's within the line of work that you do, how can you solve that problem? And so basically, and then the third step is, once you know what, the, what they want, once you are able to service it, then the third thing is an exchange of value. And the value is basically your solution to that problem, which alleviates the pain to the person, and the client is paying the, the payment or the compensation of payment. So it's an exchange of value for value. And so Queensland government have been very smart, and that is they've done the same three steps to grow the current tourism market. They've gone out to find out, well, what else do tourists want? How else can we expand the tourism breadth of for Queensland? And so they've gone out to travel agencies. They've gone out to where their clients hang out, which is travel agencies. They have to book their holidays and said to these travel agencies, so what can we provide as a tourist city? What can we provide further in addition to to attract more people to get people to stay a lot longer and enjoy their time a lot more you know, to find a solution and what they found is that the travel agencies have said well people want a bit of excitement they want an activity we need to be able to sell them on an activity that they cannot get anywhere else and so with that armed with that information so now they know what people want right that's the first step the Queensland government's done they now know that they want an activity that they can't pretty much get anywhere else and it allows them to want to experience something that they can't get from anywhere else. And what they've just decided is that there is a summit in, in here in Brisbane, there's a summit, there's a tall summit, where and they're going to put in, I don't know what the term is, so if you who's watching, you probably know better than me, but it's a ride where they go from one place to another, it's a summit, it's like a jungle in between, and you're going to kind of like glide, like through a not glide into in the air but you're going to be hooked onto something and you're going from one place to another and this is just like it's a thrill ride it's for thrill seekers who want to be able or those who just want to challenge themselves who want to be able to get an activity that they can't get anywhere else so it's in Brisbane it's in a city so you don't have to go to a jungle or anywhere some remote place and you get to experience this thrill of this ride within a summit in uh, Brisbane going from one place to another and that's going to increase tourism by a huge amount and they've already done their surveys on it they've already asked people would you go would you actually go on this thing people from as young as um, their teens to their 50s and 60s have said that they want to be able to try something like that now that they've brought a proposal out. And so here's what's interesting guys, in business, here's how it relates to you, in business the most secure thing you can do is sit behind your computer or sit behind what you feel you know what's best and think well what kind of program would do people want, what do they need? The best way to know for sure and to know if it's going to work is simply to go and ask. To ask your clients, just like the Queensland government has done, they've already got the millions of clients coming in, tourists coming in, but they want to even enhance that experience for them. They want to be able to take that experience and really captivate a greater audience. And by doing so, they've now secured something, another tourist ex exercise or an activity that's going to bring even more people to the forefront of the shores of Brisbane and to enjoy what this is so everyone benefits the hotels the airlines the other activities that are available it all benefits and it's something that we want to take 
away from when we're working on our small business is to look at, so who do I need to ask? Who are my clients? If I can't ask them directly, who has access to my clients? So ask yourself that. If you can't get access, like the Queensland government, they couldn't go to every single tourist, but they said, well, where do the tourists go? They go to the uh, travel agencies to book their holiday, holidays. And so they went and asked them, well, what are people asking for? What do you believe that would help you secure more people, uh, have them stay longer in Brisbane? What, would, what are they looking for? How can we make their experience be even better? And that's how they came out with this ride or this activity of being building a uh, this, this slingshot. I don't know what it's called, but it's traveling from the summit in Brisbane from one end to the other. And it's pretty much, it's a thrill ride where um, it's bare bones and it's all there. So it's exciting because no matter what product or service you sell, it goes by the same fundamental principles, which is work out what they want, provide that solution if it's within your expertise or line of work, and then exchange value for value. Queensland government is gonna give you this thrill, this experience of a ride, and in exchange, you're gonna be paying them monetarily for that experience. And so it's an exchange of value for value. And if you don't have that exchange, then it's a hobby. So where in your business, who do you need to ask? Who has your clients before you? If you don't have direct access with your product or your service, who can you ask or can you ask them directly? And by knowing that, what can you change in your programs? What can you add to your programs? What can you add to your product, to your service? Everything you see, iPhones, to um, an airplane ticket, to you know, a hotel that you're staying, they've had to ask people, what do you want? What can we enhance the experience by? And by knowing what that is, that's how you get guaranteed clients coming to you because you're just giving them what they want because they asked for it. And that's the fundamental thing you want to be doing. It's exactly what I was doing when I was starting Unbox Your Gift. People wanted to find their dream job. I started to give them processes of finding that. People wanted to just to find their passion. I gave them the process of how to find their passion because I was in corporate. People didn't like their jobs. So I gave them what they wanted, which is what am I good at? What's that one thing that's gonna just sing to my soul? And there's, I provided a process. So I just gave them what people wanted. When I was starting to get uh, attract clients and grow my business with speaking um, and getting out there and you know just deafening all the noise around me with all the other marketing tools, and I started to build my business and I became Young Businesswoman of the Year, people were asking me, how did you do that? What did you do within two years? How did you be able to grow your business that way? And then I taught people the solution, which was speaking, and not just any kind of speaking, but it's a certain way of speaking in which to really serve your audience, really be able to serve them at the highest level, give lots of value, and then create an offer at the end of it. So that's what I want to be able to share with you guys because don't just take it from me, take it from a government, from a city, who already is very successful in what they do, but they're just taking it now to an extra higher level. So whether you have already your 7 million clients, or whether you're just looking for your next client, or your first client, or the next five, or wherever you are, you just want to monetize or generate income um, as a supplement to your full-time job you want to be able to look at where where can I service people what problems exist what do people want and then go give them that and then exchange the value for value so I thought I might share that guys with you because I just thought it was hot because it's what I teach and it's what the Queensland government just did and I thought relatable so hopefully that's going to help you so I want to know how are you going to use this and just because it's simple guys don't get lulled into a security thing that because it's simple it can't be that easy right people sometimes need to have something to be complicated in order for it to work so know that this works know that if you apply it you can really accelerate and grow your business And the best way to simply ask people what they want is to use speaking because you're in the flesh people will talk to you you go and talk to them there is an exchange of information and gold of information that's taking place that you can then enhance your own stuff. So that's what I wanted to leave with you guys. Enjoy Brisbane in the background and I shall catch you soon with the next tip next week. Bye now.